Have you ever been at a music festival, sporting event, or a parade and felt just a little too crowded? As fun as crowd surfing, mosh pits, or cheering on your favorite team can be, there are many potential risks. Sure, you might have to put up with foul body odor or getting beer spilled on you, but there are far more dangerous and even fatal hazards involved with large crowds. This is how to survive a human stampede. Whether you're wiggling your way to the front to see your favorite band, taking to the streets to protest a cause, or grabbing that 80% off sale for the latest gadget, please pay close attention to this video, as it might help you and numerous others. Warning: For those that suffer from anaclophobia, the fear of crowds, viewer discretion is strongly advised. Step 1. Don't panic and conserve your energy. Panicking will not help you free yourself from a developing stampede. Stay calm and focused. Yelling and screaming will tire you out. If a stampede occurs, you'll need all the physical energy you can muster. Panic is contagious and prompts a fight-or-flight survival system to kick in. This can lead to clawing, biting, and other violent behavior. Kind of like a horde of hungry zombies. Step 2. Keep pace with the crowd. If the crowd is moving in one direction, it's best to go with the flow. If you try to resist, the sheer density of the crowd behind you could crush you. If the group becomes too tightly packed, you could run out of air by compressional asphyxiation. Simply put, your lungs cannot expand because of all the external pressure. Even if you're at the front of a crowd, you're still at risk. With so much weight behind you, you could be one of the first to be crushed. Step 3. Keep your arms up. If you're a fan of boxing, you'll know that keeping your arms up can be the best line of defense. Not all of us can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee like Muhammad Ali did, but we can still protect ourselves. Keeping your arms up will create some space and allow you to gently push people away if you need to. Step 4. Move to the edge of the crowd. Try to make your way to the edge of the crowd by moving diagonally with the flow. Look for structures that you can climb onto away from others. It's time to put all those hours monkeying around at the playground to good use. Getting to higher ground can allow you to wait until the crowd disperses or the situation becomes safer. Step 5. Avoid any choke points. If you can't find your way out of the human herd, Try to avoid tight spaces or choke points, like doorways or tunnels where people are moving through. Many problems can occur in these areas due to a bottleneck effect, where too many bodies try to squeeze through a restricted space. This is why we go on water slides one at a time. Step 6. Protect your head. If you happen to fall down on a large crowd, try to get up as quickly as possible. If you can't, Get in the fetal position and protect your head. You do not want to be knocked unconscious in this scenario. If you remain calm and keep yourself balanced, you'll likely survive. Just remember to keep your eyes open, arms up, and go with the flow of the crowd until you are able to safely escape. A large mass of people in an indoor space can raise the temperature from all the body heat. Be sure to stay hydrated and wear non-slip shoes as all the sweat can make the floor slippery. Don't turn that mosh pit into a slosh pit. 